San Diego took the first step tonight in taking back their parks, launching weeks of planned events full of fun for the entire family while working to make neighborhoods safer. Our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo was at the first ever event and shows us what families thought of the new initiative. The park is all quiet now, but the party does continue tomorrow. Organizers hope this event is so successful that it can continue for years. No! Kids had a blast at the first ever Parks After Dark event in Linda Vista, an event for all ages happening simultaneously in Skyline Hills and City Heights. Oh my God, it's so exciting. I just love it. Parks After Dark is modeled after the successful program started in LA, empowering communities to take back their parks and come together as a community. In LA, it even led to a decrease in crime. People have got a bit happy. They recreate and yes, much less crime. The crime has dropped about 32% in those areas. So that's what we're hoping to do as well. And parents loved it, allowing their kids to enjoy parks they usually stay away from because of activity that goes on after the sun sets. People that come here and they may do things that are not safe for children to be around or inappropriate, you know, maybe some drug use and some uh, shenanigans. Thursday, the kids enjoyed face paintings, bubble machines, and food, all for free, thanks to the city and county partnerships with the Parks Foundation and Price Philanthropies. If this is where my tax, our tax money is going to, like, then we're fine with it. Like, it's really good. Honey buns, I'm coming every single night. Parks After Dark will continue every Thursday, Friday and Saturday in San Diego for the next seven weeks. And I'm told every day we'll have different activities. In Linda Vista, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.